Welcome, and in this video we will develop a minimap, and this is a feature that can be used in a lot of games. I'm gonna give it like an RPG feel, just cause, well, that's the game we like to develop. So in our case, we need something to move around the map, right? So I'm gonna create this project from scratch here, I, I do not have anything here. I even have this update button. So the first the first thing I'm gonna do is connect to source control. I'm gonna use Git for this. And I'm gonna do this in case I want to share these files <laughs> with you guys. So let's, yeah, it's okay. Accept, connection success, perfect. I'm gonna create a folder called minimap. And I need, like I said, some something to move around. I'm gonna import, well, I'm gonna add a picture, and in my case, I'm gonna use a third person character. Here it is. I'm gonna override the game mode for the third person game mode, and now I should be able to play around. That's great. Now we need a minimap. Let's create the widget that will be we will be using for the minimap. So here I'm gonna create a new folder called UI. And inside my UI, I'm going to create a widget blueprint. Perfect. And widget blueprint minimap. And even though this will be a, a quick tutorial, this may be the start of uh, more functionality that, that we can build on top of this. So I'm going to try to make it as clean as possible. So that's why I'm creating a folder with the name of the project and classifying the, the folders correctly. So minimap, I'm gonna open it and it will be a image, right? There are a lot of ways to do a minimap. The old ways and well, the, the legacy ways would, would be to have a large image or well, um, a subset of images that when we're looking around, then we can load them and put them here, right? But I'm not gonna do that because that's really time intensive and you need to map correctly your your world to your image so it, it doesn't get desynchronized. So I'm gonna use like a little camera on top of my character that will be show here. And I will use that, use that as a minimap. Now, it's important to set up the correct anchor. So whenever we scale, then we always have, we will always have the widget on the correct place. And in my case, I want it to be a perfect square. Also, this I could change the pivot, but I'm gonna change the alignment. Gonna press one here and one. And now in the position, gonna press zero and zero and here I'm gonna press zero so it fits correctly now my position I could say a hundred well minus hundred and in y hundred and that's eh, for now it's a good number let's put it on the screen because I do not want to mess around with this third person character because maybe in the future we can change the character and I want to do that stuff as painless as possible what i'm gonna do is in the game mode where is it world settings game game mode here there is a hat class i'm gonna create here one and i'm gonna in my minimap create a new folder called core and inside it i'm gonna create a new folder called player inside the player folder i'm gonna create my hat blueprint save it it's gonna open and inside my height my hat i'm gonna create the widget that i need create widget and widget blueprint minimap now i'm gonna show it i'm doing it like this because it's a cleaner implementation you just need to swap out the blueprint hat if you need to change it or you just need to swap up the character and uh, the minimap will still work i'm gonna press play and well i'm gonna here, new editor window, here it is. Now I need to show something, right? What I could do for now 
is here in my third person blueprint, my third person character, what I'm gonna do is put a camera on top so I can show my environment. But not any camera will work. What it will work is a scene capture 2D. Now this this camera that is right here, I wanted to have a similar uh, behavior as it would have this other camera with the spring arm. So, so I'm gonna create another spring arm. My spring arm here, I'm gonna make it the parent of the scene capture component and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit to be on top, right? Now, this scene capture component, if I go to the detail panels here in the scene capture, they, there is a texture target. I need to target to a render target. Let's create it, minimap, and here I'm gonna create a folder called uh, minimap. It could be redundant. Uh, minimap, let's call it feature, no. Uh, and let's call it minimap feature. Double click it, and here, render target, um, minimap. Now with this render tar target created, I need to show it on my hat, which let's open it again, browse, let's open it. Here in my brush image, I'm not gonna be able to select it. So I need a material, all right? So let's find my render target again, right click it and create material. Render target material, gonna rename it to M, M, mat, now. I will use this material and put it to my UI, like this. Now it says that I need to change the material domain because this material is not for UI. So let's do it, change, compile, save, and also let's open the material. It's going to be disconnected. Let's connect it like this. Let's apply and it may throw an error and it didn't. That's weird. Well, whenever you try to compile again, this sampler type, you just need to put it to linear color. Sampler type is color, linear color. Oh, oh that's weird. Well, if, it's, if any error pops up, then you just need to change it to linear color or vice versa. Now, let's check if it's working. Play. And yeah, it's kind of working. Let's uh, fix the behavior right now. This is spring arm, I just need to not inherit anything from the controller or the character so this way it will be always looking in the same direction that's really nice but that's not very rpg right in rpgs we usually have an arrow that points to somewhere so here i'm gonna import an arrow that that i got from from a page of free icons this is the arrow i can check the r g b and a values Nice. So what I want to do here is use this arrow and put it on top of my character. The easiest way to do this is let's create a plane. Selecting the capsule component, let's type plane. This plane, let's put it on top. If I press play, I will only see the plane. That's all right. And let's create a material for my arrow instead of basic shape material let's click material here minimap minimap feature and m arrow let's open it double click it and now let's use the texture that we have here this arrow this will be i believe if, if i connect it like this it won't show anything i'm gonna put it to a plane because the alpha is the one that has all the value so this is going to be masked and i'm gonna connect the alpha to the opacity mask right awesome now i'm gonna add some color here i'm gonna put it like this and this color well i could convert it to a parameter in in case i need to change it later but for now i want something like orangey maybe yeah that could work we will see now with this material done what I will do, first save it, and then 
apply it to this well it's already applied to, to this plane let's just position it correctly and if i press play then i can see it it may be too big maybe <laughs> so what we will do is scale it but first let's change some some settings of the scene capture because i may not want to to have my camera work like this because if i add more objects let's create some shapes cubes some cylind cones and some uh, cylinders or spheres right let's press play and you you can see that it is a camera because of the perspective that the other objects are giving me right you may like the the effect uh, i don't so what i'm gonna do is orthographic here and press play and this will get rid of everything of the the perspective view that i was not liking right and it it even fixed my my problem with the plane now my my arrow is a little better if i needed to be from a higher to be on a excuse me for for a more distance from farther then i can bump it bump the ortho width but i'm gonna make it 700 that's great now i'm not liking that i can see my my character right it's not looking too good i only need, want to see the arrow there are a lot of ways to fix that we could add here on the begin play of my character and i'm gonna make the camera uh, near my character i'm gonna make it go near so you can see here uh, maybe more near more closer yeah here it is you can clearly see my character right we could do it do something like this get hit hidden actors and add this character so this actor like this and that way it won't show up show up but we are losing also the the plane right we could create the plane in another blueprint and this could be fixed like that but that's not what i want to do it's even easier to solve this type of stuff because if we click on my scene component scene capture component we can go to scene capture and here in the show advance there is a hidden show flags and there are a lot of flags that we can we can check and uncheck here i'm gonna uncheck the skeletal meshes and now i only have my arrow this is better than using you could also click on the mesh and here there there are the option of owner no c and something like that and there here it is owner no c on or only owner c but if i do some something with this for example owner uh owner c then whenever i'm not the owner i won't see it and if i have other enemies that use the same setup i won't be able to see them so this is a, a good a good way to solve this type of stuff let's change the ortho width the orthographic width to this and now it's something that we can work with uh, this has been a, a little longer video than i would have liked but just as a little uh, something we sh we usually don't have uh, like square minimaps well you could have uh, if if that's the aesthetic that you would like but if you would like to have a circle it's pretty easy let's go to our widget blueprint here here is my minimap and here is my material i'm gonna find my material i can double click here also and it will bring it and if you want to have a circular minimap then what you could do is here search uh, generate generate and there should be a yeah th this one round rect i'm gonna preview so i i um, i'm not really do to, to I, I don't really use materials too frequently but here i'm previewing what whatever this generates 
uh, I need the corner radius, I believe. So I'm going to press 1 to create a scalar. That is 0. What is 1? Yeah, cut. Good work. Uh, 0 0.1. Uh, 0 0.5, maybe. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. The sharpness, it's also nice to edit. If it's 0, you can have this type of effect. If it's, I believe, 100, you get really sharp edges. So with this, I could uh, select the M minimap and here, masked, and connect this to the opacity mask. Now I'm going to stop reviewing. I'm going to press Alt P to play, and it's not showing up. <laughs> Let me apply the material and save it. Let's see if my widget, yeah, now it, <laughs> it update. Alt P, and there it is. The edges are, are, are too much, so let me let me reduce that by a lot. And maybe 0 0.5 was something that I could use. Start previewing node. Yeah, yeah, 0 0.5 sounds like a good value. Now let's stop previewing, apply the material, save it, and play. If the, the corners are still sharp, is because uh, the UI material doesn't support it, but well, what can we do? Oh, or maybe maybe if I select to translucent, it could work like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Just keep in mind that translucency is um, uh, how do I say? It? It's most is it costs more to to compute. So if you have too many translucent materials, then you could get in trouble. <laughs> but for now, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the results. So that will be it for this video. Hopefully, I can keep building the minimap. Could be uh, good stuff. Oh, and I have a plane there that is casting a shadow that I may not, not, not want to have. So I'm going to select the plane here and I'm gonna uncheck the cast shadow play now we're fine and maybe <laughs> I don't want to see it also from here I could just uh, where is it now I can use the owner no see that I was talking about owner no see play and I'm not able to see it or I can put position it higher uh, we, we will see what what we do with that in other videos so hopefully we can build on top of this and make uh, a stronger minimap with more features. For example, we could add something to zoom in and zoom out. That could be interesting. And you could also leave the any suggestion in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, give it a like, share it around, and please subscribe for more awesome content.